Hello everyone, welcome to Hastafi Macarbos channel. Today's video is about how to do an exhaust delete on this R50 Mini Cooper. The reason why is because the exhaust is loose, the bracket is broken, and when you're driving you can hear it bounce it. So instead of installing another muffler, we're going to go ahead and put a straight pipe with a tip and see how it sounds. So if this is something that you're interested in doing to your Mini, just stay tuned and you're going to learn how. Let's get started. First step, obviously, is a no-brainer, right? You're going to need clearance. So grab it up on ramps or put it in jack stands, whichever you want, and place some blocks in front and the rear of the front tires. And once the vehicle is up on the ramps, then it's time to get rid of this bulky muffler. So if you look up here, see right there how it's broken? Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the pipe right there with my cutoff tool. That way I can remove the old muffler. Okay, so I went as far as I can go with the cutoff tool, but now there's a part of the top that I can't get through with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this hot saw to finish cutting it. If you don't have a cutoff tool, you may just have to use a hot saw to cut the whole thing. So as you can imagine, you're going to need quite a bit of elbow grease. And I'm just going to keep cutting it. And then when I'm done, we'll continue filming. So there is the muffler, and here's the remaining of this rusty bracket right there. Okay, so take this off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of this pipe so I can take it with me to my local auto parts store so I can get the pieces of pipe that I'm going to need. That way they fit perfectly. So I'm going to cut it off like I said so I can take it. And when I get back, I'll show you what pieces I bought. That way you'll know what to use on your car. Okay, so here are the supplies that I just went and bought to make this happen. Here's the piece of pipe that I took with me. It's not quite 1 7 8 and it's not 2 inch either. So it's got to be some kind of a metric pipe because this is the closest that I got it on the 2 inch. So it's a little bit loose. I'm going to see how it fits once I put the clamp over it. Uh, to make sure it doesn't leak but like I said it's not one and seven eighths that would be too small to fit over it so this is a two inch so I have some clamps right here this is going to be the tip um, the way this thing is set up is to use bolts to tighten it over the pipe that's kind of cheesy so definitely not going to do that that's not going to work for me so instead uh, this is going to fit inside it you know like that and it's gonna fit over the pipe so that'll be a much cleaner look if I only put one clamp you know by putting that in between these at the very end you'll see what I mean when I put it all together because um, like I said this is this is not gonna work I'm getting rid of these things and this is gonna be the hanger that I'm gonna use I'm going to try to bolt it to the original location where the other hanger was. So I'm going to start test fitting this stuff. And once I get it close to where you can get an idea, I'll start filming it again. Alright, so here's what I got so far, okay? I haven't cut the last piece of pipe so I can put the tip on it. But I actually lucked out that I had another piece of 2-inch pipe because the elbow was not going to be long enough to make it come out right there where it should be. So it was going to be too short and the pipe was going to be over here. So just so you know, here's another part number in case you need part numbers for another piece of pipe to put along with the elbow. And I actually bent the elbow a little bit more because the way it was, was going to aim over here so I just bent it a little bit so it can be straight just like that 
So I'm going to cut this one once I align the tip. So here's what I'm doing so you can see it before I clamp it all. I'm driving this piece, this 2 inch pipe, inside the tip because that's going to go like that once it's all together but you won't see this because I'm going to drive it all the way in and it's going to have a clamp instead of those screws that were kind of cheesy it's just going to have a clamp that's going to hold it and it's going to look cleaner and more professional plus that way it's not going to vibrate off anyways uh, so I'm showing you this right now because once it's all inside you won't be able to see it but that's what I'm doing right now so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bolt this hanger right there and this is where I'm going to fasten the other hanger that I bought that's going to hold the pipe so it's not bouncing up and down. Okay, so before I clamp anything, here's how clean it looks. That's the chrome tip right there. I mean, from a distance it's going to look just like an OEM, except that it's going to sound way cooler. And so far everything is looking neat and clean. Okay, so I cut a section of the hanger off because my first thought was to use it all the way like that but I was having a hard time aligning it right here so I had no choice but to cut it and I'm only going to use one bolt otherwise there would have been a line and I would have been able to use both bolts that's what it looks like I'm going to use the nut to hold it obviously to be in hell with the clamp right there right now it's just loose, still test fitting and I'm going to put a clamp here clamp here and a clamp there okay so that's what it looks like when it's all fastened clamp there clamp here clamp right here that attaches to the hanger I ended up turning it that way so it would move the pipe in that direction a little bit and then this clamp I have it facing up I did have a little bit of trouble getting this one over it so if you can get a two and a quarter clamp instead of a two like the rest these are okay two inch clamps those three but this one if you get a two and a quarter you won't struggle as much as I did and that's what it looks like so now we're gonna start it and see how it sounds okay so the moment of truth let's start it see how it sounds <laughs> 